and debuted in the top spot this weekend and it made history. Its director and co-writer is now the first black woman director ever to have been to have a number one film at the weekend box office. And yet Acosta's Candyman reboot outperformed expectations by pulling in $22 million last weekend. That strong opening is lifting Hollywood's hopes that fans are eager once more to experience movies in theaters. The key difference between Candyman and a lot of other pandemic era releases is that Candyman was available only in theaters. It boosted the overall number of tickets that were sold. Well, that's not the only film that has struck with its theater-based opening. Ryan Reynolds' Free Guy made $10 million more than experts predicted in its opening weekend, and Paw Patrol, the movie, nabbed $13 million in its first weekend. A new series coming out on Hulu, and it marks the return of a comedy duo, Steve Martin and Martin Short. This time, they're joined by Selena Gomez as the trio aims to solve a murder mystery. ABC's Jason Nathanson has a preview of the new series, Only Murders in the Building. Right now, the only thing that matters is that there's a killer on the loose in our building. It has murder, it has comedy, and it has Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez, who all star in the new Hulu series, Only Murders in the Building, the first TV series ever co-created and written by Steve Martin. They all live in a building, they're all older, they're all retired, and they they develop an interest in a true crime show and they decide to try and solve a, a true crime. Well, they're not all older. Selena Gomez plays a mysterious woman who teams up with a once popular actor played by Steve Martin and an out of work Broadway director played by Martin Short. The three start a podcast about a murder in their building and Gomez tells me she's a huge fan of true crime podcasts. I love the psychology behind it. I think it's really um, interesting to see how people solve the cases. Steve Martin says there's a long tradition of combining mystery and comedy, Abbott and Costello, and then there was Murder, She Wrote, which I, why do I think of that as humorous, even though it's not really, but it's kind of light. And there was always a story, but this actually has I think it's because you, you, you always get mistaken for Angela Lansbury. So That's true. Her. If their comedy timing seems on point, it should. The two have been making people laugh for 35 years since their first film, The Three Amigos. I remember how? when I first met Marty at, at my house, he came to pick up a script and we just said hello. And now he left. And I stood at the door and I went, bye. Thankfully, the comedy partnership endured and evolved and is still going today. Jason Athenson, ABC News, Los Angeles. The timing couldn't be better. We need a good laugh these days. Yeah. And those two, along with Selena Gomez, will probably provide a pretty good laugh. I'll definitely watch it. All right, good food, great deals. It's all in SA Live today. They're probably laughing there, too. Hey, Fiona uh, and I. Oh, we like to do that. Yes, yes. of course. Okay. At each other. Or yes. just at me, so. <laughs> well, we've got monster chicken sandwiches, sweet treats, and shopping for a good cause on today's show. And it is National Chicken Month. Yep. And we've got a monster chicken sandwich. And Jen. That's what I'm looking at right now, guys. Look at this bad boy right here. It started as a pop-up, then a food truck, and now a brick and mortar. We are here at Smack's Chicken Shack. Keenan, what is this? That is our barbecue mac and cheese chicken sandwich with our white barbecue sauce. White peach barbecue sauce at white that. White peach barbecue sauce. And guess what? Keenan has a deal for National Chicken Month, but you gotta watch to find out what the deal is all month long, guys. All right, I'm gonna try not to eat this. Back to you. We were going to time you to see if she can eat it in her segment. Yes. And look at this incredible spread. I tell you, they've got a modern take on a classic dessert, and their look is one of a kind. Yes, indeed. Laura Garcia is here, and you have teamed up now for the ultimate flavors. Yes, I've teamed up with the ultimate mad scientist of flavors, Meg Morales, and I are part of CKS Pastry House. And today we're going to show you our signature pat of shoe, but it's a flip and dip with some beautiful ube pastry cream. Yes, this nice purple pastry cream. We're gonna fill it all up in there. Hey, wanna do a little bit of shopping? Bernie Retailers, they have a style show coming up in a couple of weeks, and we're gonna tell you all about that for a really good cause. Well, now let's take the forecast. We just jumped up to 91, the heat index now, 98. We will jump above 100 today when it comes to that heat index and likely we'll do that next few days. 20% chance of a stray storm generally east of San Antonio. It's hot this weekend too, but lower humidity. That's the one saving grace there. And maybe another slight chance of rain by Tuesday, but try to find a way to stay cool today, guys.
See, triple digit heat index. You can't okay. escape it. Well, that's the heat index, though, so we're okay. Speaking Still of sweating. Triple, Speaking of triples, did you did you see that mac and cheese oh, chicken? Oh, that looks good. Oh man! It just needs some pickles. That's like three meals right there. Oh, and a Dr Pepper on the side. And you got fries. I say life starts right. Yeah. This is one of the greatest displays of goodies, pastries, sweets, and treats. Plus, we are going to learn how to make the flip and dip. It includes this purple going inside. Over the top chicken sandwiches. We're taking you inside Smack's Chicken Shack for a taste of their menu, and I hope you're hungry. And Fiesta makes a return where they're bringing back some of the sights, sounds, and of course, food. We take you there today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. <laughs> Oh, yes. Look at, Look that. at that. Yes. Uh, this way, Ted. Hello right. and happy Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, you know, okay. being, you know, being kind of, you know, the hump in the middle you, of the sir. week, I can't ask for anything better right now than that, right? Good afternoon. Okay. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. You know, at first I, I found out that the chicken sandwich is not going to be here. I was a little upset, but mm -hmm. we've got all this. We've and got this, this just looks wonderful. I'm Mike Osterhage. Okay, it is September 1st. Uh, the unofficial mm -hmm. end of summer comes up this weekend with Labor Day. So the big question is, what didn't you get done over the summer? Of course, mm -hmm. you know, you guys have those great plans. And mm -hmm. when the warmer weather comes, I will. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Well, I got my stuff done, but this was my husband's list <laughs> <laughs> that he still has to get done. <laughs> if you're watching today, Matt, I, yeah, I'm, I'm bus trying. 300 so. right there in front of everybody. You know, there, uh, <laughs> what about you? Well, there's it's certain things in the yard. I mean, mm -hmm. things, it's like, okay, I want to do, well, I'll wait till fall. Right. Then you got to do it. And then I'll, I'll do it in the spring. So anyway, how about you? I mean, did you want to get the baseboards clean? Did you want to redecorate? Did you want to do this? Just Let invite some guests over from out of town. You'll get it all done really fast. Good point. <laughs> so, so let us know, what did you not get accomplished this summer that maybe you want to get done? Let us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. Or if you want to help Matt get through that list, <laughs> Yeah, let us yeah, know. Yeah, seriously, I'm sure he welcome volunteers. <laughs> All right, well, our first guest, okay, if you may want to, I don't know, indulge in some amazing sweets, they can definitely help you. They're stepping out of the box and creating some of the most one-of-a-kind desserts in the city. I mean, they make croissants with crazy flavors. They're reinventing the Oreo and taking pizza to a place it's never been before. Why am I thinking space when I say that? <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> never been this before. is in front of me and I'm looking at those pictures drooling. So Megan Morales and Laura Garcia, co-owners of CKS Pastry House, are here to show us these brand new desserts and you have joined forces basically, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I uh, originally owned Serial Killer Sweets, so we did uh, nationwide shipping with all of our giant cookies, cereal treats all over uh, during the past year. And then recently, Lauren came on from Commando Bakery, and we opened up CKS Pastry House. And like you described it, that she's the, the she's the magician. master <laughs> scientist of flavor. She gives me her ideas, and then I recreate them in fillings. So we kind of take the fusion of our two best, you know, our, our best things that we can yeah. do. And so that's kind of what you're going to be filling today. So what are we making right now? It's, you call it the the flip and dip. The flip and dip. Okay, and we've got a finished version yes. kind of right. There. Right. So and it's a, a traditional French pastry is what you're holding. That's called a pâte choux, a choux au craquelin, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like eclair dough, but we put a brown sugar craquelin on top. But we decided to change it up a bit because we want you to have this huge cream puff. And I'll let Meg describe what we're <laughs> putting in the middle there. So we so we are filling this with an ube pastry cream. Uh, ube is gonna be a Filipino yam. Yes. It's a popular dessert uh, flavor that's used in desserts all kinds of savory items in the Philippines. I'm so excited. Um, so that's my take on my family heritage. We also add in a lot of Lauren stuff because she is a German. Yeah, I'm German, Spanish. And she makes Spanish. this really awesome cake. <laughs> right, so we, what we've decided when we decided to get into business together is really being our heritage. So like Meg said, you've got an ube flip and dip. So after you fill it up, because Fiona's <laughs> okay. going to fill it to the brim. Yeah. I, I didn't think all this was going in here. <laughs> You're going to flip it into the ube. white chocolate mm. um, glaze, which is right next to Mike's left and then it. you can top it with some of the, the coconut because ube mm -hmm. goes really well with coconut. Mm -hmm. This has such, a, it's not overly sweet 
It's got such a unique flavor. It's very light. It's yes. very creamy. Mm. Yeah, so we, we basically took the base of our, our traditional um, house vanilla pastry cream and turned it into an ube pastry did, cream. Did, do you sell just the pastry bags of this to, to I'm eat telling you, I'm, we'll sell you a pastry bag IV. Uh, yeah, I would buy it. <laughs> so another thing that we do in-house is we do uh, a traditional German Apfelkuchen, which is a German apple cake. Oh, so that's kind of how we yes. became what we are. Meg's heritage, my heritage, we marry them together and make some of these incredible desserts in front of you. You know, which yes. is the great thing about all different heritages, the food, the food, the food, and right. more food. Okay. That's how you bring people together. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. You know what? And here, all eat all there. of this food. Okay. This, this thing weighs a ton now. It yes, does. it does. Yes. We, we also have another thing that we feel is really important. So Meg mentioned we ship our cookies nationwide yes. and internationally. Fiona, there's a cookie right in front of you. You okay. want me to split that open and oh, show them the goodies. Okay. So that is our oh. s'mores remix. It is a brown sugar caramel cookie with graham crackers, chocolates, our house-made marshmallow fluff. We top it with chocolate and then we top it with the uh, dehydrated marshmallows for the cocos. Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> Look at that. Look I have something that. that may top that. What have we here? Mm. That is our s'mores croissant. So that's our house-made s'mores. We do a graham cracker, whipped cream filling, chocolate ganache, and then fluff on top that we toast. Let's see if you can break that one open. Do it. Thank you. Don't mind if, don't do mind it. if I break do it. Break it in half, because I have your half over here waiting for you. <laughs> I don't know. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So, um, you know, how can folks get these treats? So, all of our cookies, we actually ship nationwide, so they can go online to our website 24-7 to order that. Uh, we are open to the public every Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. and then on Saturdays is when we're going to be showcasing all of our donuts. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Look at his face. He's gonna need a he's gonna need a wet wipe. That, yeah. That's when you know it's good. Not just a napkin, a wet wipe. All right. Literally, I just it's like mm -hmm. I, they, oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. For more information on CKS Pastry House, go to our website essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. All right. Speaking of treats, San Antonio talk. loves. Just talk. I know, I got you, I got you. I'm gonna read your line. Have you been craving chicken on a stick? The food, drinks, and music of Fiesta are making a comeback, and I visited a spot where they're gonna be celebrating Hispanic culture and the sea. Check it out. Well, San Antonio's rich Hispanic culture meets the sea at Fiesta Del Mar here at SeaWorld. And joining us now to tell us more is Chuck Crow. Hello. Welcome to SeaWorld, Fiona. Always great to have you guys out here. What a fun celebration yeah. this is. It really is. You know, uh, San Antonio is just filled with this wonderful, rich Hispanic culture, and we celebrate it every year. You know, that big party that we have. Well, we're at SeaWorld. We wanted to kind of bring some of that big party into, into our realm here, so we created the Fiesta of the the sea party of the sea it's party when you come out here y'all so there is live music food fun tell us about it all uh, let, let, first things first you can't have fiesta without <gasps> some sort of fiesta adornment look at that right there Yes, and that is for you. Oh, that yes. is a collectible. It oh, is a wow. collectible. Yes, we actually gave that to some of our season pass members. One of the great benefits of becoming a season pass member. But Fiesta Del Mar, a celebration of the sea. You're going to have entertainment. We've got mariachis. We have folklorico dancers, flamenco dancers. Um, but you can't have a fiesta type celebration without some food. That's right. And we have some examples on the table right now. Let's take a look. Now, first off, it's a little warm out here. So I'm going to let you have this one here. And I'm going to take this one here. You know what these are. Oh, these there you are <laughs> margaritas. Margaritas. That's right. It's five o'clock somewhere, Fiona. Come on, let's do this right here. And may I just say, I love this straw. The straw, yeah, it's great. You know, SeaWorld being a conservation organization, mm -hmm. the straws are they're edible. They're they're candy and just like that. Cheers. I'm just and closing salute. the gap between me and the drink. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> Refreshing adult beverages if you're over the age of 21, uh, come out and, re and enjoy responsibly. But the food, Fiona, check out this food right here. We have cucumbers dressed. We have corn in a cup. We have hot Cheetoed roasted corn. Oh my have you gosh, ever that had looks that? so good. No. Yes, yeah, absolutely amazing. And you can't have a fiesta type party without the fiesta staple. Look Chicken there. on a stick. Chicken on a stick. Oh yeah, baby. It's so good. It is so good. You know, Fiesta Del Mar is happening Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and 
on Labor Day. So you can come on out here and enjoy all the fun. And see fireworks too, right? Yeah, at the end of the night, we're gonna give you a Fiesta Del Mar fireworks extravaganza. It's our little way of giving you a, a little kiss goodnight as you walk on out the <laughs> gates there after having a great day at SeaWorld. Of course, we've got the, the Fiesta celebration, but all the great things you've come to enjoy here, you know, the rides mm -hmm. and of course the animals. There's something for everybody at SeaWorld. And after Fiesta Del Mar, I mean, the fun continues, right? Yeah, we just keep going on and on and on. After Fiesta Del Mar, we're not even going to break. We're going to go right into Hallow Scream and Spooktacular. Can you believe it? Halloween is right around the corner. It, Hallow Scream is the biggest and scariest Halloween event in Texas. Coinciding with that is going to be Beer Fest for the beer connoisseurs. <laughs> and I hear they have all sorts of beers here, 60 different types of beers. After Halloween, we'll just come up for air, take a breath, we're ready for Christmas. Oh my goodness. All yeah. right. Never a dull moment at SeaWorld. Come on out and join us. <laughs> All right. And tell folks, of course, how to find some information. Well, you can call Fiona at her house because she's always here. No, I'm kidding. You go to SeaWorldSanAntonio.com. You can find out all about it. All right. And for all that information, all you have to do is head to our website, SALive.com, and click on the ad scene on SA Live tab. Cheers. <laughs> Still ahead on SA Live, some big holidays are coming up, and boy, have we got a deal of the day to get you ready for Day of the Dead. Plus, the deals don't end there, how you can give your home a makeover with some great Labor Day discounts. But first, our gen Tobias Trusky is taking on a monster chicken sandwich. See the crazy flavor combinations at this local restaurant. We're going to take you there. <laughs> oh, that, that looks so good. That's great. And so does Look this. at that. Oh my goodness, I just every time I see that picture of that sandwich. Hey, <laughs> welcome back to SA Live. There are so many national holidays in September, and one of those is National Chicken Month. And so we thought we would get a taste of the menu over there at Smack's Chicken. Ch oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Right! <laughs> hey, at least we got the, the sweets, oh. okay? Now they are known for their giant creative chicken sandwiches, and our Jen Tobias Strusky, boy, are we jealous. You're out there at the restaurant just north of downtown. Hey there, Jen. You know I did not eat breakfast today because of this assignment, but yes, you, earlier you saw the barbecue mac there, mac and cheese, and this is, right here is the big smack. Now, yes, it has its own special sauce, right, Keenan? That's right. <laughs> and so that's their take on it. I'm gonna open it up here, and you can just see the size of this chicken here, and. I do remember coming out here a while back and, and, and your food truck. Yes. But now we're going to do a little recipe uh, because you guys have grown so much. You've got this kitchen now and one of the things people love is the fries, right? Yeah, the loaded fries. Yes, ma'am. So tell me what we're going to do here. I'll let you go ahead and make it. Okay, so we're going to start off with the loaded fries. These are our house sugar fries. Uh, we're going to start off with our Thai sweet chili sauce here. Ooh. We're going to add a little bit of cheese sauce. Okay, I can see why these are our <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a big order. Chicken right here. So lots of chicken on there. Oh. And you mentioned to me earlier you can get the fries without the sugar. Yeah, so you can get salt and pepper fries or you can get our house sugar fries. Which they're all delicious. <laughs> so we're gonna add a little bit more cheese sauce, a oh tie bit more Thai cheese. And then of course the house seasoning here. Boom, those are our Thai sweet chili sauce. Oh, okay. Thai sweet chili fries. Okay, now I'm gonna try one of this in a bit. Um, so also another favorite is kind of the more traditional, would you say like the Nashville? Yeah, hot? our Nashville hot. So our Nashville hot is our top seller. We do start with the potato bun. It's gonna be pickles on the bottom. We do lots of pickles. Don't go light on anything. Gonna drop this in the Nashville sauce. Can I just say thank you for doing all of the pickles like that? Because oh, yeah. some people do not. And yeah, we don't go light, <laughs> light on nothing. So you wanna do lots of sauce. Guys, my mouth is watering. <laughs> just looking at this. Oh my goodness. And then we're gonna do our cream sauce on it. Ooh. Can you describe the cream sauce? Yeah, so it's a sour cream based sauce. This is honey we're adding on. So the cream sauce is a sour cream based sauce that has all the herbs that a ranch would have in it. Oh my the top goodness. bun, and then here are some salt and pepper fries as well. Salt and pepper fries. 
So as I mentioned earlier, Keenan, we went out to your food truck about a year ago, yeah, right? Yeah, it's and been a while. Then was already pretty long. So you've grown so much. Tell me about how business has grown for you. Yeah, so with the food truck, especially with COVID hitting, uh, it did pick up a lot because of the to-go orders. Uh, from there, we did decide to go ahead and open the brick and mortar. We wanted to have that indoor seating, um, the outdoor patio, and then just more space in general for customers, you know, to enjoy it, um, and then kind of decorate it how we want to give our, you know, our vibe and stuff like that. Yeah, and so I know you told me it started as a pop-up, and then, but the chicken sandwiches just really took to people, right? As yeah. Well. And, and so this was your niche, and look at you now. Yeah, so we started <laughs> out as a pop-up. Uh, they love the chicken sandwiches, so we just ran with it. We do about 10 different chicken sandwiches now. And, and so the peach, the big peach, I know we did that one last yes, time. Yeah. What, what, are, what are some of the customer favorites that, uh, do you get requests? I know we're gonna we make do. one later, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that one's real cool that we're gonna do later. So the big peach is a fan favorite. We get people that wanna do um, like the Nashville and the Big Smack put together. So look at the Big Smack with the Nashville hot patty. Okay. Um, same thing with the lemon pepper, they'll do a Nashville patty, but with the lemon pepper, we have a lemon pepper chicken sandwich. Um, so yeah, they do. They they take them and add them together and put them together and combine them and, and stuff. I love so that you guys are okay with that. Yeah, okay whatever y'all want, we'll do for you. What the customer wants. Now, there is a great deal that he has, but we're gonna save that because you got to stick around and watch because we're gonna come out here and make a PB and J. Is that right? Yeah. PB&J chicken sandwich. I can't wait to try that. With a yes, twist. I'm going to try it, guys. I know I'm just staring at this right now, but I'm going back to you and I'm gonna take a bite. Oh so my I can't talk. gosh. I, I tell you, Jen, we were watching the, you know, just building that mm -hmm. chicken sandwich and you could have just wiped us off the floor. Yeah. I, I, it was, that looks amazing. I think we need to challenge Jen to eat that sandwich before her next uh, hit out there. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay, I'm up for a challenge. She'll take a nap we'll right after the show. Okay, like <laughs> we'll see you in a minute, Jen. Thank you. Still ahead on SA Live. If you love to shop, listen up. We're getting a sneak peek, a peek of an exciting event where South Texas stores are teaming up to give back. And next, Labor Day weekend means deals. If you're looking for furniture, now is the time to buy. We take you to one local store to check out how you can save. That's all straight ahead. better than one of something triple and this Labor Day weekend you won't have to labor very hard to find triple the savings at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries joining us now with all you need to know about the huge triple discount blowout sale this weekend is sales representative Jennifer Machink hello hello hi oh my gosh I the furniture here I always look so incredibly comfortable and cool so families can save a bundle on all things for the home this weekend tell us a little bit about the blowout sale so for Labor Day to celebrate we are basically going to mark down the entire store we're gonna start with that lazy boy upholstery which is going to be 20% off so that's our our sofas, our sectionals, even our Lazy Boy recliners up to an additional 20% off. Then we're gonna take our case goods, for instance, like your living room tables or your dining room tables, even bedroom furniture, and we're gonna mark that down another 30% off. Last but certainly not least are our accessories. So our lamps, our rugs, any of our wall art, all is going to be 40% off. And that's the most we've had it marked down all year, so you've gotta come check out our sale today. So come on down, take advantage of these sales, and you offer financing, right? We do, we're gonna offer 0% interest for 48 months, and that's with a minimum low payment of $500, some of the best financing I've seen around. So for people like me, who uh, may not be great at decorating, who look at a room and go, I don't even know where to start, I don't know how to feng shui it all together, you have an in-house design team that can help, right? First of all, you're not alone. There <laughs> are a lot of us out there. But yes, we have interior designers in every single one of our store locations. So they are phenomenal and they can literally take a room and make it picture perfect. They can help you in the store by picking out fabrics and assessing and then they can accompany you out to your house to actually put it all together and make it look just like you want it to. So if you're, whether you're just starting out a room or whether you're redecorating or doing a refresh and maybe you only have some of the room, right? They can help you finish it, right? Absolutely, and I forgot to mention the most important thing. It's a free service. Oh. So whether you just wanna do your living room or you wanna do your entire house, it's a complimentary service that we offer. 
Now, when you think Lazy Boy, I think about those really comfortable recliners. Absolutely. So everybody, that's the first thing they ask me. Oh, you work for Lazy Boy. What about that recliner? Well, starting this weekend, we're going to have a mark down to $2.99. So if you need that perfect recliner, you've got to come in. And we've got over 48 styles for you to pick from. So a great selection. And I know you'll be able to find something that you like. There are three Lazy Boy locations around town at 1604 in Culebra, I-10 and De Zavala, and 410 and Starcrest. Drop in this Friday through Labor Day for the triple discount blowout sale. 20% off upholstery, 30% off case goods, and 40% off accessories, lighting, wall art, and rugs. For more information, visit lazyboy.com slash San Antonio. Jennifer, thank you so much. Still ahead on SA Live, have you ever heard of a PB&J chicken sandwich? Oh, look at her go. Hey, wait a second, wait a second. All right, it's one of the insane but incredible creations at a local restaurant in our Jen Tobias Trusky is, is going to give it an actual try. We see what you're doing there. And next, style shopping and giving back. We're getting a sneak peek of a huge fashion event that can actually make a huge impact on the community. Welcome back to SA Live. Shops across South Texas are teaming up for a one-of-a-kind event all about shopping style and doing some good for the community. Ashley Ermes, who is the manager from Majoli Boutique, is here to talk about the Bernie Retailers Style Show and Shopping Event and, of course, show us some of the great styles to get ready for fall. Good afternoon. Hello. Big event coming up. Tell yes. us all about it. Yes, well, first, thank you for having me back. Uh, certainly. Super fun to be here. Um, we are so excited about this event. It is a super great way to bring the community together, supporting community businesses, all while supporting a community organization. So super, super excited. And of course, the hit of the show is all about the styles. Let's Absolutely. look at look number one right here, Alejandra. Yes, so our first look, we've got Alejandra from Wheeler's Western Outfitters. She is wearing the super cute puffed sleeve ribbed sweater with adorable distressed jeans, super fun felt hat, adorable boots, cannot go anywhere in Bernie without this outfit. I'm obsessed. And that necklace, I mean, that is gorgeous. Yeah, so all of Alejandra's jewelry is made right here in the United States. Love adding that pop of color with the turquoise. I think it's such a staple item, super fun. Just again, another way to add color. And the nice thing about that blouse too is, even with the puffy sleeves, it's a thinner material. So when it cools down, if it cools down at night, you can throw a jean jacket on top of that and Absolutely. that's just gonna complete that outfit. Absolutely, it's a great way to transition from our hot summer days to cooler summer nights as we start getting into fall. Okay, well tell us more about the organization. Yes, that so the Kendall County Women's Shelter is based right and Bernie, it's an amazing organization that has helped women, hundreds of women, um, escape domestic violence situations and with their children and they shelter them until they can be able to get back and stand on their own two feet again. So Okay, well it's a fantastic organization. Yes, absolutely. Right. Look number two and this is Audrey. The hat is that's one of a kind. Oh, absolutely. So the felt hats are huge. Again, this fall, Miss Audrey is with Pixie and Lottie Dodge. She has a super fun swishy dress, is what I like to call it, with the cute um, smocked top. So it's fitted and flared at the same time. This is another great outfit for date nights. Loving the boots because it adds a little edge to it as well. And it's perfect something fun. that those boots go great, obviously, with that dress but you can Absolutely. put them underneath a pair of jeans and everybody's gonna exactly. think you got cowboy boots it's on, very right? transitional, especially as we get into fall. So. And the color too, the emerald green. Uh, and that emerald green cannot go wrong with the Kelly green. It is so big and very on trend this year. Okay, some of the other shops that are yes. gonna be there and stores. Absolutely, so My Store Jelly Boutique will be there on the runway. We'll have um, stores like Tootie Pie, who's everyone's favorite. We'll have Handmade on Main, which is a bunch of handmade products. Um, based in Bernie, we've got Gallery 195, which is an awesome art gallery. A bunch of local artists um, are a part of it. Um, so we've got lots of other surprises, too. All those great shops that you see along Main Street right there in Absolutely, Bernie, Absolutely, right? So right there on the Hill Country Mile. Last but not least, Julie and just a classic outfit. Yeah, so we, this is Miss Julie with the pearl antler. She is definitely on trend with that denim jacket, um, keeping it so trendy, super fun. I love the touch of fringe, adds a little bit of an edge to something 
um, that you, you know, that everyone has a jean jacket. And, so. and that necklace, and then also all of the stacked bracelets too yes. on both wrists. Absolutely. So stacked bracelets are another big thing that we have fallen in love with this year, especially for fall. You can do one bracelet, you can do a billion bracelets. It is just super fun to get stuck in and accessorize. How can folks get tickets? Absolutely. You can go to Bernie Retailers Style and Shop dot com. Tickets are seventy five dollars online, and they'll be a hundred dollars at the door. Okay, and it's going to be at Don yes, Strange Ranch. It is Ranch, out right? at Don Strange Ranch on September eighteenth. All right. Once again, don't forget the Bernie Retailers Style Show and Shopping Event happening Saturday, September eighteenth. So just over two weeks away, six p.m. Don Strange Ranch near Bernie, and it benefits the Kendall County Women's Shelter. To get your tickets, there's a link on our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Beautiful ladies, thank you all very thank much. Thank you for having us. Still ahead on SA Live, our deal of the day is getting you ready for Day of the Dead. You don't want to miss this chance for a great discount. And next, they're known for their insane flavor call. <laughs> yes, He's still Jen. Working. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so proud. Okay, Jen Tobias Dresky is getting a taste of a PB and J chicken sandwich. Keep it here. You're watching SA Live. <laughs> oh, look at her go. I want to see if she's gonna finish it. <laughs> SA Live. Well, if you're thinking about lunch, guess what? You're going to be thinking about it even more and getting even more hungry because look at that right now on the screen. We're taking you back inside Smack's Chicken Shack, known for their mouth watering sandwiches. And our new hero, Jen Tobias Strosky, because <laughs> she has just been giving it the old college try going through that sandwich. Jen, how you doing on that one? <clears throat> this is it right here. <laughs> the last piece, guys. <laughs> I couldn't finish the fries, okay? But I gave it my all. <laughs> and it was amazing. <laughs> that was so good. Okay, now we're gonna go into the kitchen because Keenan is whipping up two of the more fun combinations, the Big Peach and the PB&J. So if you're curious, what do you mean PB&J chicken sandwich? We're about to find out, so putting this back on. I mean, I can't believe I ate that whole sandwich, guys. <laughs> okay, How are so, you? So what are we making now? Let's so we are going to do our big peach chicken sandwich and then our peanut butter and jelly as well. Okay. So we'll start with the big peach. Big peach is going to have cream cheese. Do a little bit of cream cheese. We're going to put a little bit on both sides. Peaches and cream, right? You Peaches and cream. cream. Yeah. We're going to do the jelly. Just a little bit of jelly. I love this one. It feels, it's so summer, you know, uh, but do you serve it all year long? We do. Yeah. It's like my style of like a southern chicken sandwich. Yes. Yeah. I love that. So after the jam, we're going to put the chicken. Probably have just a little bit more jelly. What is it about your chicken that just works for everybody? <laughs> so uh, we do a uh, panko fried chicken sandwich. So it is breaded in panko and then candied jalapenos. And then drizzle of honey. It just doesn't stop. Just when it I think it's stop. already awesome, it's like, let's add more. Get right. To this. And there you go. And there you go. That's the one I tried last summer. And my so good. And by this thing, by the way. And next is the one that I was very intrigued. <clears throat> yeah, so this one is definitely a different one. It's going to be our peanut butter and jelly chicken sandwich. So we're going to do a little bit of peanut butter here on the bottom. Kind of get the chicken to stick. Yeah. So we're going to do that. Butter and chicken. I don't know. I've never tried that combination. It's you're, you're it's different. Us, right? so, yeah. So a uh, New York chef um, used to do a peanut butter and jelly burger back in my hometown. Okay. Yeah. So this does have a, a candied jalapenos in it as well. It's our black our house made blackberry jam, and then it has candied jalapenos in it. Omg. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, and we just top it off with just a few more. Stop it, Keenan. Stop it. <laughs> and so then good. there you go. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Okay. Now this one I don't remember. So how are people taking to this? You said you could even do the wings with peanut butter sauce on them or something? Yeah, so we do our wings with a twisted buffalo sauce. It's like our barbecue sauce and buffalo sauce mixed. So you have the sweetness of the barbecue, the spiciness of the buffalo, and then we toss that in the sauce. It's a house made one. And then we drizzle it with peanut butter. Okay. We call it our twisted buffalo. I want to take these outside with me. Yeah. So there's some real exciting news. Um, Kenan Smack's Chicken Shack will be featured on a national channel is all yeah. I can say, right? Yeah, we'll be on a national, we got picked up for a national TV show. 
Okay, so be on the lookout for that. Now let's tell people about the deal you have because National Chicken Month, you can come taste these and you have an awesome deal. Yeah, so all month long for September, we're doing all chicken sandwiches with fries for $9.99 a month, all month long. $9.99. These, I'm telling you, I mean, I ate that whole thing earlier and that has me full probably for the rest of the day. Oh yeah, they're big. Fill you up and your hours, just so people know. We are open Thursday through Monday, 12 to 10 p.m. Thursday through Monday. And what I love is I right away noticed that you have a kids menu and you serve it on, on little school trays. Yeah, we serve the kids on school trays and we give them like little brownies or like a zebra cake and oh, little awesome. juice, all the whole setup. Awesome. Yeah. And look at this beautiful area here. I mean, back when we saw you a year ago, Keenan. I mean, yeah. So now you have all this space. Really cool things in here to come see, check out, Thank support you. Thank a you. local business, and we're going to look out for you now. Yeah, right? National. <laughs> Appreciate it. So, uh, thanks for having us out here Of course. Again, tell them where you're located. Uh, 447 West Hildebrand. All right. Thank you, Keenan. Thank you. Should I try this one next, guys? Or yes. Send yes, Jen. Jen. Oh, Jen. Jen. Oh, Just start stretching. Yeah. The start first stretching. one is the appetizer. That's the mm -hmm. main course. You know, I'll start. I'll start with the fries. I think I'm gonna send these to you guys. Y'all can, y'all can, y'all can eat. <laughs> oh, y'all have them. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm literally dizzy watching him make those sandwiches. Okay, fine. Oh my That's god. They want me to take a bite. Here we go. Yes. Oh, yay. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. I'm living vicariously through you right now. How is that? Which one was that one? It was a good. It was both exactly amazing. Right yes. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Jen. Bon appetit. Next on the show. Get the smile you've always wanted with braces you can finally afford, how you can do it. Plus, our deal of the day is next on SA Live. Our deal of the day is from local designer Stephanie Pena Frost, owner of Princess and the Monkey Home Decor. She's selling original handmade Dia de los Muertos hats. They can be custom designed for the colors and look you need. Now, the prices do vary, but if you tell her you saw this deal of the day on SA Live, you get a 25% discount. You can message her on Instagram at Princess and the Monkey. There's also a link on our website, SALive.com. Just click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you're thinking about getting your kid braces this summer or maybe getting braces for yourself, you might have sticker shock on how expensive they can be, but one local dentist is cutting the cost for families, and that dentist is Dr. David Ferguson with Celebrate Dental. Good to see you, sir. Good Welcome seeing you, Mike. back inside here. Thank you. All right, why is this a really good time to get braces? Uh, a couple reasons. One, obviously, um, if you still are wearing a mask, uh, it's a good time for braces because nobody will know you'll have them on okay. uh, and, and if you're not wearing a mask anymore it's a fantastic time because you might be paying attention to that smile a little bit more you realize hey I've seen myself on zoom up close and that's what my teeth look like and, and now we're taking the mask off so it's just a great time to, to get braces and also $99 a month too you can't beat that yeah you really can't I mean and and the truth is I think a lot of people everybody really wants a, a beautiful smile and a straight smile you know there's really uh, the biggest obstacle to people getting that is the just the anxiety that comes with how much is it going to cost you know? right and then also it is a big time commitment too not only for the initial treatment but then you have to have the follow-up visits and that's where it comes in handy because you have uh, six locations and you just don't have nine to five hours you got hours that people can really work around if you will yeah there's really two ways to look at affordable and that's one you know how affordable are the monthly payments and two is it convenient enough if, if parents have to call off work and if kids have to get out of school there's a lot of costs involved with that and so what we've really tried to do is is make it convenient for people and affordable so we are open in the evenings we have evening appointments we are open on Saturday uh, so we've really tried to make it easy and affordable okay speaking of affordable insurance you accept that it's an easy question to answer Mike yeah absolutely we take any PPO insurance so uh, if you have a, an insurance plan yes we take it uh, but it's also important to remember a lot of people don't have insurance and I think the fear is is that hey if I don't have insurance can they still make it affordable and the answer is yes we have no down payment uh, low monthly payment plans like you said that start at $99 a month yeah because a lot of people when it comes to even small dental work but but braces like that they go no I, I 
can't, I mean, I might as well not even think about it, but like you said, you will put them in braces, right? Uh, you know, I want to make the commitment to all the viewers today, you know, if you're wondering, hey, can he really do what he says he can do and, and make it affordable, just come in. You know, it's a free consultation. There's no obligation. And the only way that you're ever going to know is if you come see us. Uh, it'll either be myself or one of the other orthodontists in our group. Okay, and when you come in there, uh, what's it like the very first time? Because you could actually go in and then walk out with braces, right? You can. I mean, if you, if a patient comes in, we'll take all the records, the any x-rays that are needed, the photos. Like I said, there's no obligation and there's no cost for that appointment. But we're going to take all the records that we need and then we're going to sit down with somebody and answer really the most important questions, which are how long is this going to take and how much is it going to cost? At that point, uh, if the patient decides they want to get braces, we can put the braces on that day. It literally takes 30 minutes uh, to get the braces on and you're walking out well on your way to that gorgeous smile. And quickly, you said this is a good time for kids too because school is still a month, month and a half down the road, but now they can get used to the routine of taking care of braces and it's not another new thing to throw at them when school starts, right? Absolutely. It's just a good time. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about the schedule and they can get ready for school uh, and not have to worry about that. Okay, Celebrate Dental has six locations in the San Antonio area. No credit check, no money down, and braces for 99 bucks a month. For more information, call 210-201-1696 or visit the website CelebrateDental.com. Dr. Ferguson, thank you. Good seeing you, sir. Good seeing you, Mike. Tomorrow on SA Live, it's a brutiful show. We have a local coffee shop and roaster teaching us how to make traditional Mexican hot chocolate and even more caffeinated goodness. Plus, we prepare you for all those September birthdays with discounts and freebies at local businesses. From birthday sweets to fun presents, you'll find the perfect way to celebrate that September birthday. Earlier, we asked you, what did you not accomplish this summer? Something that was on your list that you just didn't get to. Jacob <laughs> says, trying to get fit and lay off all the junk foods and sodas and sweet tea. Oh, yeah. That's what fall is for. Try to lose some weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Valerie. Uh, I guess that falls under the, what, best laid plans of mice and men. <laughs> <laughs> right. What a good show to, hey, there's always tomorrow, right? Yes. Oh, we will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. <laughs>